Imagine going to school and experiencing a digital 3D world, learning how to woodwork or getting real life healthcare experiences. As News 8 Shelby Kluber now explains, this is reality for some high school students in the Galesburg region thanks to a brand new technical center. It's part of our school zone coverage tonight on News 8 at 6. It's not your typical classroom. Cross threads are better than no threads. Here, lectures are replaced with lug nuts. But Galesburg sophomore Sawyer Spring says it's one of the most important classes he'll ever take. Everyone will eventually have a car that they're going to need to learn how to work on. It's called Intro to Automotive. Students learn how to check tire pressure, 35. oil levels, and do vehicle inspections. It's kind of cool because usually I'd go to school and I dreaded just sitting in a classroom, but this it's hands on and I'm actually learning stuff I'm going to use the rest of my life. The class is just one of many at the brand new Galesburg Area Vocational Center. Students can also study woodworking, nursing, virtual reality, and drone piloting. And kids get to be hands on with all sorts of engines, both big and small. They go to the classroom and gain some knowledge, and then they get to go put their hands into the curriculum and really you know, apply that knowledge. Jeff Houston is the center's director. He says it's all about teaching valuable skills and opening doors. To be able to get a trained workforce and creating opportunities for kids, we need to do a better job. Our laborers are, are crying for a skilled workforce. It's already producing results. You get more experience and you can do it before you actually graduate high school. Abington Avon senior Trevor Baker will hopefully graduate with a partial CNC certificate and experience with heavy machinery. So then you can hurry up and get a job if you would like or start the career that you want to be in. An unusual classroom teaching invaluable skills. In Galesburg, Shelby Kluver, WQAD News 8. And if you want to check out any of those new workspaces, feel free to drop by the center's open house. It's next Thursday morning and it's open to the public.